Hello everybody and welcome to the Alien vs Predator Galaxy YouTube channel. This is Aaron Percival aka Corporal Hicks. And this is Adam Zeller aka Ridgetop. And we're back with another motion tracker video talking about the latest happenings in the Alien and Predator franchises. For this one we're back with another, another Noah Hawley video to talk about some recent news and that's like what two in in one week yeah, two in two the weeks? alien series news is coming the year started and the, the news is is starting to come out indeed so last week i think we had noah hawley actually talking about um some details and some of the themes and stuff of what we're going to be seeing in the show um which we can actually kind of talk with on on this article here as well um because the Illuminati has scooped everybody again. Mm. And after I was ready to give them, you know, I was like, okay, we know we know this stuff's legit. I'm happy with it. But then I saw another one recently where they referenced the hashtag show website. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm not feeling you there. They're another one of those bullshit websites. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this, this one is... Um, shout out to Mr. H for messaging me about this one because this one is legit. Otherwise, we would not be posting it and talking about it. So for this one, the Illuminati has shared some more details on Hermit and Wendy, who are the character names of... Well, <laughs> are the names of two of the characters that we know about from uh, from the show. So... I'll just read um, what they said. So it looks like Alien is looking to cast a man in between 80 and 30 for the role of J.D. Hermit. Between 20 and 30. What did I say? 80 and 30. <laughs> <laughs> between 20 and 30 uh, for the role of J.D. Hermit. Now, I don't think we knew J.D. was his name in the old, art, in the old um, details that they shared. Uh, but we do now. Um, but he goes by Hermit. Is a human medic for the Prodigy Tactical Response, the private military of the Prodigy Corporation. Hermit is described as a young man with an anxious temperament but a good heart. Hermit is struggling to find his way, believing himself to be a curse as he mourns the loss of his family. Hermit was particularly close with his 10-year-old sister Marcy, who he was told died of cancer. Hermit is driven to help others, but he feels untethered and isolated in his grief. However, in the face of great danger, Hermit proves that people have severely underestimated him and that he is in fact and that he in fact has the heart of a hero. Alien is also looking to cast a woman in her mid twenties to mid thirties, I had to check that I mean I'd done the right uh, age there, to play Wendy. Wendy is described as tall, athletic, and andro androgynous. Wendy is not a human, instead she is a hybrid. A superhuman who is essentially perfect. However, all is not as it appears with Wendy, as she is in fact she in fact has the mind of Hermit's ten year old sister Marty. She learns how to live and control this new body under the tutelage of a synth scientist called Kirsch and a human scientist called Dame Sylvia. Dame's not a name though. It's a title, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe these are future names, or <laughs> <laughs> like uh, oh, what did Elon Musk call his a e uh, something? Yeah, crazy and stupid. Yeah. Um, Wendy eventually becomes a leader to the hybrids and uh, creates a path for a new era of enhanced beings. Wendy, once she reaches full development, will have super strength, speed, and agility combined with limitless courage of a young mind. Wendy is not only a new being, but a tool of monumental value to the world. So that's a lot more details than what they shared before. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, and uh, if you missed our last video, Noah Hawley did talk about these competing corporations. Uh, mm -hmm. And that they were looking about transhumanism in different ways. Um, well, he spoke about... What if other corporations were exploring different ways of, of immortality, saying that Whalen sought it through um, artificial intelligence? And I guess we now know the name of um, a corporation seeking immortality in a different way, and that's the Prodigy Corporation, and they're um, playing with the idea of transhuman downloads. So we said in our last article as well, 
um, on this particular piece, um, you know, on the the news, that Hermit's sister was actually transferred into the consciousness of a synthetic body. So I'm guessing that um, when we're looking at these hybrids, that it's human minds in synthetic bodies, which is interesting. But yeah. again, it's uh, everything at the minute seems to be talking about these Blade Runner elements of the show rather than the um, rather than the other bits. But I, I still, again, I think there's a place in the Alien Four or the, or this Blade Runner ish style stuff, and I'm, I'm curious it's, to it's see. It's an interesting premise. Um, not only the fact that you have these different pursuits of um, digital immortality or whatnot, but uh, just the competing corporations too. Like Siegson was a big addition to the alien universe um, because so much of it before was just the big bad whale in Utani. So to see these other corporations play a role and uh, to see well, what is their I mean, style going to be like. Um, well, we got, we got all the corporations in yeah, other bits of the EU as well. Uh, and other stuff, but like grant and uh, international, you know? Yeah. I suppose rec- uh, the, the second golden age as I like to think of it. Um, from about 2014 onwards hasn't really focused on uh, i mean seekson like you said was the big one from alien isolation but otherwise no we haven't really seen corporations competing as such so but, i think that i think that's an interesting route to go down but yeah i want to i want to start uh seeing some more alien stuff you know mm. <laughs> I still think of that quote. <laughs> There's going to be some aliens in your alien show, right? <laughs> right. Um, that tickles no, me every I mean, time. I think that's the best comment I've seen from um, from anybody in regards to the show so far. Yeah. But Alien Day is coming up, and I remember when when things started ramping up for Covenant, they started teasing that on social media. So hopefully we get a bit more engagement with, with the show mm. in terms of... Or more uh, leaks. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> we, we want some things to be a surprise, right? But um, yeah, but can can you wait? What what was it? Production starts in March that yeah. we know of, um, so it's still a little bit of time. Yeah, I mean, it, this seems like it's going to be a, a big production if it's uh, you know if they're filming it in Thailand. Um, so yeah. But anyway, there we are. We've had more details. Um, we know a little bit more about Hermit as as a person, and yeah, there isn't there isn't really too much else going off with this one. It's just more of a here's more about Hermit as a person. We know this is legit. Um, Illuminati seems to have somebody on the inside. Perhaps not just the um, the casting call sheets like we like I originally thought, and. Yeah, we're just just doubling down on that um, AI immortality transhuman aspect of the show, at least in terms of the news. <laughs> yeah, but you have anything? You I mean, you just want to see more Alien too, right? Or, but do you find all this interesting? Or <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really setup? interested in all this stuff, uh, to be honest, because I mean, I know it doesn't work out. I know Blade Runner doesn't fit in Alien, and I know Alien doesn't fit in Blade Runner in terms of the actual franchises, but the, the themes and explorations of that kind of stuff, I think, I, I think it does. And, you know, we got that in Prometheus. So uh, 10 years ago this year, this idea of seeking immortality was introduced into the alien franchise. You know, it's been around, it's been around a decade and I think it works. You know, I said in the last video where we talked about the, the show, you know, there is place, in the franchise for more than capital a alien and i mean we know we know we know there's a capital a alien in the show i don't think we're betraying anything to say that at least but i also find it interesting that there are other themes and elements going off in here you know this the, is the pmc angle is interesting because it makes you wonder if these corporations have their own military forces, like what is the state, the state of the governments on earth um, in terms of their militaries and 
in their political oh. forces. Um, and we kind of saw that in Alien 3, as you know, well, with the commandos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is a design. I They're barely in the film, but I absolutely love the commandos or the dog catchers, as um, you know, they were also referred to. Perhaps it's not just a case of they were supposed to be special. Well, I, I, I guess um, Clone and Marines actually took it further, didn't it? You know, they were... They were PMCs. They were a private military for Wayland Utani. It wasn't just a case of a specialized unit to deal with the runner. And I like that. I, I've always really loved the costume, as simple as it is, you know, with those cricket pads and um, uh, the the helmet, Terry English's helmet. I fucking love Terry English's helmet for this. Gorgeous. So I kind of hope they do something interesting costuming-wise, you know, with... Um, the tactical response team because so much of what aliens is good for as well. And alien, you know, is, is the costume in design. And, and there's a reason that people dress up in the clone and Marines armor. And it's, and yeah, a lot of it's to do with how good the film is, but it's also to do with how good the, um, the costume in and, and the armor design is as well. So I'd like to see something similar with, with the PMC, um, with the tactical response team because of, how lackluster Covenant was in terms of that aspect. Yeah, with just the the the, arc the, the arcs with the yeah yeah. yeah I I do like hope that. there is a good visual language in terms of the uh, the different corporations and the PMC and distinguishing that from from what we've seen before, but still having it in the language of something that's identifiably feels right in the world of Alien um, in this time frame, whenever this is. So the future, the future on Earth. Mm. Not the near future anymore. It's the future. Although we still don't know when. Yeah. Well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? I just, I just hope we, we're, we're looking. Um, when was Aliens? Uh, no. So Prometheus is the turn of the century. Prometheus is like the twenty nineties. Yeah. Yeah. Um, twenty ninety three. With with maybe? Covenant Covenant set in the first decade of the next century. Yeah. yeah. So, hopefully, we're we're looking more that way. Um, I, I would very much like this to be post aliens or post alien throw because I do think there's an, a very well there's two hundred year gap. There's plenty of stuff to do between uh, alien three and resurrection. So ideally, that's where I like my new stuff to be set. Yeah, aliens never appeared be. again. You know, no, she it's succeeded. Fine. It's shh, no, it's fine. The the big deletion happened, and that's that's why nobody knows about anything. Oh, I see. I, I need to do it. I should do a little piece on the big deletion actually. Yeah, those uh, but, were good comics. That was um, Thrill to Hunt. Well, the Hunt. The fir- I hated the first one. I thought Thrill of the Hunt was crap. Civilized Beast was but better. Civilized Beast was fantastic. But that, that was where the concept came from, the big yeah. deletion, right? Yeah. Which is hilarious. But I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I would not be surprised if something like that was realistic. If the pandemic's taught me anything, it's that the most stupid things can be realistic. Um, but anyway, have you got anything else to say on this one? Um, I expect to see more soon. Very soon. Very soon. <laughs> Take from that as you will. Anyway, um, as always, you know, let us know your thoughts and uh, comments down in the comment section below. Uh, head back and check out the main channel if you are new to the channel. You know, check out some of our other videos, our lore pieces, our editorials, live streams, let's plays. Um, speaking of the live streams, um, we're going to have a little juggle up in the schedule. We will be taking it to Sundays now but not next Sunday. Next week, we're doing it on Tuesday, and then the week after, we're going to Sundays. And um, hopefully, so the more of non-British people can can uh, enjoy it, because uh, it was very... It, well, it was European evenings, so, you know, anybody on the other side of the time zone was probably too busy. So we're aiming for weekends now, um, Sundays. But yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been Corporal Hicks. And Ridgetop. Signing off.